Hello, hello and welcome to another update video about Bitcoin. I was sincerely hoping I could talk about something new, but not much happened today. So this is just sort of a statement that the situation hasn't really changed on the Bitcoin chart. Um, we are still in a situation where either a B wave topped here on the 29th of August or a fourth wave. And I'm currently just in the short term focusing here just on this five wave move, which could complete this yellow fifth wave. Um, after that, we will have a major, major decision point, in my opinion, major inflection point, because with this five wave move down, a major low could form. So I will wait for the reaction after the next low to determine my next steps, because after five waves down here, this could lead to another five wave rally. If we get a five wave rally, I will buy the ABC pullback in anticipation of higher prices. If, however, and that is where the green wave count comes in, if this was a B wave top, then the C wave could take us down to around about 20, 20K roughly, yeah, plus minus a few hundred um, dollars. But it, it, the bottom line is it will go much lower. So if after the next drop, the rally is just corrective, I am considering a short trade down into the low 20K region. Just doing whatever favors, uh, you know, the, where, where the most favorable reward to risk ratio sits. At the moment, still watching for lower here on the Bitcoin chart as well. The key level is $26,450. Against that level, I focus on lower. Most coins, again, very slow today. I think Solana had a bit of a run, but mm, no game changer yet. Okay. Um, Bitcoin also here currently, yeah, the last rally here was also corrective, didn't take out the previous high. So I highlighted to you that there is, of course, the possibility for an extension of the fourth wave. That's always possible uh, until the low isn't taken out. Yeah, well, no, until the low is taken out, it can always extend higher. But the, the key is not to worry too much about it because you're wasting a lot of brain cells and you, you, you won't know. OK, nobody's got the crystal ball. But the point is to understand where's the pivot point where the scenarios are changing and that's above 26,450. So for me, it's like that, you know, if price breaks above that level, especially if it's a move in five waves, then I consider this to be part of a higher B wave, which could reach roughly the 29K area. But as long as price, as long as we are consolidating in a corrective fashion below resistance, I focus on lower and I expect another low. And it doesn't really matter to me if, okay, if, if it makes a bit of a higher uh, high in this resistance area and then comes down, or if it finally comes down more directly, that's also something I just can't predict, okay? Um, what we were waiting for initially before the weekend was a healthy way for. It is a fairly healthy way for. It can absolutely form a, com a more complex WXY structure in way four. Wave fours oftentimes are quite complex. Yeah, they are usually, however, sideways corrections. So you don't see a lot of action. It's more you know, boring price action very often. This could even stretch into a triangle, which I don't hope it will because that would be super boring. But the point is the wave four could also already be in. Now that will gain in probability with a sustained break below 25,470, which is the 78.6 retracement of the move up. The thing is that an X wave would normally not go beyond that level. It can do for a short period. So really, I think the level to watch is this one here, the Friday low, which was basically here at around 25,350. And, and here, 50% FIB level of the larger cycle. So no change really. Um, I will have something new to talk about once we break above resistance or once we finally break below the third wave low. And essentially what I'd like to see in this move down is a sustained break below the um, 17th of August or at least something more substantial, you know, not like a few dollars below it. I think a few exchanges did that already and it could be that on the futures charts we had that already. So, yeah, I mean, that's that's part of the problem in the crypto world. It's a bit like the Wild West. You have different exchanges, slightly different prices which doesn't always makes which doesn't make analysis always easier, rather difficult and sometimes confusing. But that's why it's so important not to focus normally on the micro structures. We're just doing it in this video because 
obviously we still need something to use to calculate targets and then and understand what the next levels to watch are and we do it for education as well that's my update about bitcoin i hope you liked the update if you did please hit the like button leave a comment and subscribe and if you really like the content then please check out the channel membership thanks a lot for watching bye bye